And Congressman Paul, we hear over and over again, people are hoping for a great vision for America once again, America on the move once again. Give us the great vision that is realistic, given the financial situation, a realistic great vision for America. Well, it's to restore America to our freedoms, restore America to our principles, and that is individual liberty and our Constitution and sound money. And in doing that, you have to understand economics. You can't solve any of this economic crisis unless you know where the business cycle comes from and why you have bubbles and why, why, why they break. You have to understand that we've had a financial bubble that's been going on for 40 years. It's collapsing. Nobody quite recognizes it, but we're in the midst of a real big correction. And the only way you can get back to growth is you have to liquidate the debt. But instead of liquidating debt, what we have done is the people who build up the debt on Wall Street and the banks, we've had the American taxpayer bail them out. We, we bought it through the Federal Reserve and through the Treasury, dumped it on the American people. The middle class is now shrinking, and we don't have jobs. But if you're an individual or a businessman, if you're consuming everything you're earning just to finance your debt, you can't have growth. So we have to liquidate debt. This is the reason I call for cutting spending, the only one that's calling for real cuts. You have to have real cuts. That's what the Republican Party used to stand for. But you can't liquidate debt. You can't You can't keep bailing out the debt. That's what Japan has been done for 20 years, and they're still in their doldrums. We did it in the Depression. We're into this now for five years, and it has to end. It's only going to end until after we understand the business cycle. Live from St. Anselm College in Manchester, New Hampshire, once again, Diane Sawyer and George Stephanopoulos. We are back and so grateful for this debate tonight. And we thought we might just end on something personal. It's Saturday night again as we meet. So if you weren't here running for president, Governor Perry, what would you be doing on a Saturday night? Uh, I'd probably be at the uh, shooting range. <laughs> Instead of being shot at. <laughs> yeah. Speaker Gingrich. I'd be watching the college championship basketball game. Football game. I mean, football game. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'd be doing the same thing with my family. We'd be huddled around and we'd be watching the uh, championship game. Afraid it's football. I love football? it. Yeah. I'd be home with my family, but if they all went to bed, I'd probably read an economic textbook. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be on the phone with my two boys in the United States Navy because they're a constant reminder of what is great about this nation and awesome about the emerging generation in this country. And on that note, once again, we thank you all Tuesday, the big primary in New Hampshire, and that is it for us here at St. Anselm College in Manchester, and we want to thank all of you in the audience and your families once again your families are here and we salute all of you who have spent your Saturday night here with us too and we thank everybody here in New Hampshire for joining us